perspective? Well, he's very fortunate I missed the five ball <laughs> and start with, and he's very fortunate, period, I think. We've missed you on our screens. To, uh, yeah. snooker himself and then kick the three ball in. So he can talk all he wants <laughs> about how great I am and how good he played or whatever. There's a lot of luck there. You said before the game started. He's fortunate I missed the five ball. I just didn't. He's lucky I landed on the rail where I could miss it. Yeah. But he's a good player, you know. What are you going to say? He's a good player. Before you started, you did say that you wanted to make sure that nobody could write you off. Do you feel that like you've done that? Well, I can still play. I still think they should rack the nine on the spot. Yeah. Because it's it's makes the break order, and then just break from anywhere. He he's how lucky was he? He left his cue ball down here, and the ball is hanging in the hole. He's like a leprechaun. <laughs> the game takes a little bit of a luck as well, right? He, I don't know if the audience knows how lucky he is to leave his cue ball down here when you're supposed to leave it down there. Did you? Yeah. They're shaking. If they the, have any uh, pool knowledge at all, he knows he got lucky there. <laughs> I mean, how lucky the ball's hanging in the hole. All he's got to do is make it roll back. <laughs> you know, uh, he made some good shots. He made a good shot when he cut the five in the corner down there. And uh, but. I don't know. I just I can't believe I lost that match. I was in control. I don't think he outplayed me. I just missed one shot that was crucial. Uh, he's a good player. You know, uh, what do you want me to say? Uh, I am terrible and he's great. No, not at all. Is that what you want me to say? I'm no. not going to say that. He's not that great. <laughs> I don't want you to say that at all. Something about Paul. I think the table should be 12 feet long. <laughs> this is a joke. Nine feet. Let's play with a 12 foot table. <laughs> okay, and then we won't have to even worry about the rack. All right, well, maybe something to think about for the next competition. So, you know, uh, <laughs> let's make it harder. And, and another thing, too, I don't see real good under these canvas lights. I need fluorescent lighting because I'm getting older. And that's another thing, too, you know. So it's an advantage. You know, I'm 15, 20, 30 years older than all these guys. So. <laughs> It's quite an advantage when I mean, you can't see as good. But I enjoy being here, and I want to thank Matchroom for inviting me back. And, you know, you guys all think I'm crazy or something, but I'm far from it. No, we absolutely Believe don't. Me, I'm a great player. Mm -hmm. And uh, I just can't believe the way the ball's broke for him. Just sloppy. It's sloppy. Well, look, Earl, thank you so much. It was a real pleasure watching you. Yeah. Thank you so much. And we'll see you again soon. So <laughs> a round of applause in the, in the arena for Earl Strickland. Still such a character.